Hey, yet another day, a beautiful day outside. We are going to be talking about ICF blocks. They're uh, building blocks that you adults play with to make things uh, usable. They're, these particular, this particular model or, or a company makes them 16 inches high. They're, they're very light, they're not heavy at all. 16 inches high, eight inches wide in, inside for concrete to be poured in there, or you can get it with six inches. I think you can even go bigger. <clears throat> it has a two inch wide foam on the outside and inside. So it's really well insulated. So after you pour, it's insulated on both sides of the blocks. It has these plastic uh, containers, holders <laughs> for rebar. So you can run rebar through there, top and bottom, and it'll fit in, um, snaps right in there. Works really well, I hope. This is my first time using them. So I'm just kind of running through with you what somebody ran through with me. There's, I don't know, let's see if you can see that. Come up close. You can see these black areas down through here. They're actually made, they're, they're part of this plastic, so it's like a, an H shape. So that after you put it together, put the forms together and you've poured it and you're ready to start building, these, they're actually a wide strip down through here, so you can screw right into that whatever screws you're using, and it holds really well. They've got, they're made so that they, uh, they interlock really well. <clears throat> Let's go over and try one of these. <clears throat> when you build, the surface you're building on needs to be flat. That's a um, moyo importante. <laughs> I don't know if that's right. Anyway, you can see there's a little gap here. When you put the next row on, if you, we're only using one row, but we can, there's, uh, you can also use wire to tie, pull those together to hold them in place. And they have an interlock on each end. And so I'm told also, if you get to a door opening, which we will be in this particular job, there'll be uh, two sets of French doors. It's gonna be quite a nice, Nice little house that we're going to do. Yeah, a house. It's a garage uh, package that we're doing as a house. It'll have a slab. It'll have foam underneath. And what, when we, so we'll pour, the, we'll pour a six inch slab with a thickened perimeter. This will sit on top around the slab. This, if this is the outside, it will actually hang over the slab almost all the way. We'll leave it so it's still catching. And then we'll finish off down below grade with foam on the outside. Should be pretty sharp. Should be well insulated. Okay, so go together like that. They have these corners all made like that to turn the corners. Okay, have another corner over here. Just wanted to show you how easily these things snap together. It's pretty cool. And so you need to overlap the joints. Let's go something like that. Coming into a corner, you would uh, need to use more corners. Let's see if I can get it. Sometimes you have to work it a little bit. Let's grab another one. And again, and uh, for between, if, if you were going two or more high, we're only going one, you could tie them together with wire from this plastic down to that one. So make sure you get them.
I'm not making it look very easy, but this this is real. I mean, this is what you're probably going to be. Maybe you'll be better at it than I am. Okay. Okay. Let's put that up. I won't use up the other corners. On, on this particular job that we're doing, there's four corners and uh, I think 32 of these. They cost somewhere around $25 each. The corners are a little bit more. So I think it was around $900 for all of this to do a 30 by 30, one row all the way around. Okay, that doesn't tie in very well. Let's go. Turn that around. I turned it around because I'm not ad going to advertise for the company I bought these from. I could, but I'm not. Let's grab another one. Once, I, once you get started, it seems like they go pretty quickly. When, before you close a corner, you should run the rebar through, then put the corner on. With each course as you're going up, it'll be so much easier because I don't think you can fit it in after. Really looking forward to putting these in. Just like that. Boy, that goes together really easily. And uh, of course, as I've said, we're only going one course high all the way around. So we'll leave rebar sticking up through the floor, through the slab that we can tie horizontal rebar to, as well as secure these so that they're not moving around once we start putting concrete in, because that would be bad. We want to keep short, make sure it's perfectly flat on top. After we've poured, so it will be just one course high. After we've poured, let me grab another block. <clears throat> so after we've poured the concrete up to this point, we'll, we'll cut these off to make it flat. Then we'll set a two by 12 treated on top of that. And we'll have anchor bolts in here so we can screw the anchor bolts through the, uh, the treated plate. And we'll have another treated plate outside, flush to the outside. And that will be our wall going up. It's going to be fun. All right. <clears throat> one, thing I, one thing I wanted to mention, when you get to a doorway, apparently you can just snap a, a put a, a square line across there and cut that because it's just foam and then head, uh, put a block on the end and you can come back to where these uh, points are where you can run screws into to hold the block against the end so when you pour concrete it will stop. It sounds really easy. In a couple weeks I'll give you an update whether or not it was. So I hope you enjoyed this short little video. Please subscribe, hit that like button, Leave a comment and have a good day. Thank you very much.